Hello everyone. In this quick thing, I'm going to uh, show you very quickly how to uh, patch a Windows image offline. Some uh, quick info first. So why would you want to patch a Windows image offline? Of course, uh, to save a lot of time when installing new Windows clients and Windows servers as to not download and install all the patches that it would normally have to get because you will put those patches in the image you skip uh, that uh, needless step now what i'm going to show you works for windows server and for windows client and you need to be aware of the fact that there are some updates that cannot be included offline in an image uh, you have to really install those updates online when the operating system uh, boots up and of course for those updates if you try to include them in an offline image the only thing that will happen is you will get an error so nothing that will break anything uh, from your environment so the steps to uh, patch a windows image offline are first to obtain the actual update files that you want to include in the image and you could do this in two ways either use a very cool software named the WSAS offline update and you can get it from the link that I placed in this um, presentation the presentation of course can be obtained from my github repository linked in the description as well as the code that we will uh, use so either you use this program or if you have a WSAS server in your environment you could use PowerShell to download the updates for your uh, target operating system. Once you have the updates comes step 2 and step 2 will use PowerShell to inject the updates that you have in the Windows image. So this was it for the talking part. Now let's go to the test server and actually run the PowerShell commands to do the offline patching so here i am on my server we will use two scripts one that will deal with the first part to get the updates and another that will deal with actually injecting the updates in the windows image my windows image is already in the c drive install.wim is the image and i will use uh, windows server 2016 as the target os in this video of course you can get this image from your windows installation disk so whichever windows you have you just go in your disk you go to sources and here you will find install.wim and here it is so this is how you obtain this image so you can patch it uh, let's begin the first two lines are specific to your environment so you need to specify the WSAS server name if you uh, have a different name than me most probably and uh, for this video i'm going to get updates for windows server 2016 so this is what i have here now the next line uh, you have to use it in case the server on which you are working does not have wsas installed because we will use some commands uh, that are needed so install this next let, let's make uh, a folder where we uh, will make where we will place our updates but it seems it already exists in my case so i will just uh, assign this uh, value now let's connect to our wsas server let's get a list of all the updates that the server has and now we are going to filter the updates by a couple of criteria first is the target os that we set uh, above then i want only updates that are approved and i want updates that are not superseded so uh, let's uh, filter here it is and uh, now let, we can also see the list of updates that we get in my case it should be i think only one update and only one it is uh, for you of course it should be more because I only use a test environment so now with the list of updates we go through each one 
and we download it from the WSAS server to our uh, updates folder. I will run this whole block of code. Here you go. And now we can get a list of our updates. We can also see them. So in my case, it's only one cab file. Okay, so this was uh, the part with downloading updates. Uh, I guess you already guessed it. I'm going to use only the WSAS method in this video, not the tool that downloads uh, updates. If you want to use the tool, uh, be my guest. It will do basically the same thing that I'm doing uh, here. It will get, get you a list of updates in a folder. So then now let's go to the second step. And in this uh, step, we are going to inject the updates in the image. First, let's make a folder where we are going to mount the image. Now, let me show you the image that I am using the details about it. So you see, uh, this image has four indexes and you have to take very uh, much care because each index is its own operating system. Meaning that if you want all these four Windows Server uh, versions to be updated, you have to mount, inject and unmount each index at a time. I will do it only for index one in this video, but uh, just so you understand what we are talking about, I wanted to mention it. So then let's mount index one. And this is where you specify which index you want. This is not going to take too long, maybe one or two minutes. I will come back when it's done. So now the image is mounted, we can start uh, to inject the updates. So we will iterate through each of the update files and inject them one by one. In my case, it is only one, so it will uh, not take very long. But depending on how many updates you have, it will take um, some time. So it could take maybe 30, 40 minutes in case you have a lot of updates to inject prepare yourself with some coffee and be patient. Okay, so the uh, update is injected. Now we just have to dismount the image and save all the changes we made, of course. So uh, we run this command. This will also take uh, between one and two minutes, uh, mostly. So uh, after it's done, you have your updated image. And also that was it for this video, actually because there is nothing else left to do. Don't forget that if you want uh, maybe also Windows Server Data Center to be patched, you have to mount that index, inject the update and dismount it uh, for it to work. This was it for the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like it and share it. Also consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.